they're away now. Since 2017, it's been known as the Kingsford Smith Cup, but the Eagle Farm Wait for Age Sprint has had many names throughout its history, including most recently the BTC Cup. And the cat's got up, Apache Cat beat for Miss Nut. High profile wins from the likes of Chief De Beers, General Nadim, and Falvalon twice led to the race. For much of its history, the race was run over 1,200 metres, including the famous 2011 renewal when Black Caviar met old sparring partner, Haylist. Start number 13, unlucky for some, not for this one. Black Caviar raced away and beat Haylist. In 2017, the race was extended to 1,300 metres. The same year, Clearly Innocent denied Jungle Edge Group 1 glory. And clearly Innocent, the king of Sky races clear at Eagle Farm. It was the Jamie Carr magic show in 2021. Coming from near last, she weaved Vega 1 through the field for a memorable win. And retired during the week. This was some ride. Uh, that's Vega 1 retired and Jamie Carr. Oh. Yeah, she had to wait and wait and wait. And once she got the split, which was just half a split, she just had the horse underneath her to be able to burst through. And, uh, yeah, she, we talk time and time again about how she doesn't panic and she just stays nice and composed on, on the horses. And uh, and I think that's what made her or helped her win the race on Vega 1 is just not panicking yeah. in that situation. And but courage, though. The courage to go through that gap I at think, speed. I think the horse is going that quickly. She, yeah. She, she, he was just taking the gap, no right. matter what. But, uh, you yeah, know, you're right. It's, uh, it is a, a fine line to tread. You don't want to obviously bring yourself down or anyone else. So, yeah, no, she did a really good job uh, on that occasion. But sometimes you ride for luck and you don't get the luck. And, but that's, yeah. she got the luck this time. They're in great form in Stradbroke season already with two Group 1 wins. Laws of Indices coming up. One of two runners for Annabelle Neesham. And as soon as he moves in, the starter will take control of the field and release them. And now they're all in. Light turned on. All set. Racing. Almedo 11 11 September run. Palali all began well, but Apache Chase beat them all out, and he was the early leader. Emerald Kingdom gathering momentum. Not far away, Scalopini and Ellsberg. 11 11 drifting back now, then Isotope, followed by on Trivier. A bit handier, but wide. Deeper Private Eye inside their pair, Brooklyn Hustle and Signor Fox, then Wild Planet. Laws of Indices and away game. She's last of all down the side. 900 left to run. Jimmy Byrne sets up shop with Apache Chase and leads Paul Ailey. Beautifully positioned by Jay back in second. September run third, the box seat at Rothfire in a good spot mid-race. Fourth one out, one back, two to Almedo. Over on the inside of Scalopini and Ellsberg. And then Private Eye going up three wide with cover. 11-11 between runners. Over on the inside, Brooklyn Hustle on Trevier about seven to eight off the lead. Then Signor Fox, Wild Planet, well back at the tail was away game in the straight and isotope about fifth last. Apache Chase headed for the run of the judge, leading the way from Paul Ailey, trying hard. Then September run, Rothfire, Scalopini wider. Nothing making ground from back in the field. Apache Chase still the leader. Paul Laley is trying his heart out. So is September run. Then Rothfire. 11 11 running on. Apache Chase. He's in front. Rothfire is charging with 11 11. Apache Chase in front and one. Apache Chase all the way from either Paul Laley. Up there as well. Rothfire at 11 11. September run. Brooklyn Hustle ice to take. Not far away with Scalapini Private Eye. Then came away game. Senior Fox, Wild Planet, Ellsberg. Laws of to sees Albino and on trivia she never got into it and finished towards the tail end Apache Chase has led all of the way what a Queensland story and we feel part of it don't we because of that story with Desley earlier today so
He, as Bruce said, he was there to be beaten. It's a long straight at Eagle Farm and just love his, his tenacity. He just dug deep and he's such a winner. Cost $50,000 at the Magic Million Mark sale. He's won two million bucks now. It's an incredible story. Well done to Desley. A character. We'll uh, hear from the winning connections uh, after our next race at Caulfield. Jimmy Byrne. Catch up with all the winning connections. The group one on the other side of the break. Kingsford Smith Cup. Uh, this was a thrilling ride from Jimmy Byrne. He dared them to chase them down and he couldn't. He was so brave, Apache Chase. And the character that is Desley Forster's now are a Group 1 winning trainer. And for Jimmy Byrne, the veteran, he gets his seventh. Let's catch up. That was an absolutely terrific victory for both of you. It must be very special. Like, you've got a, a great bond, but not just a great bond, you've got a great bond with this horse. Yeah, look, he and I, we're like brothers and sisters, really. Like, Jimmy's family's been great to me. And like, like, I'm pretty overwhelmed by I've got a lot of great pen here, friends and people here today. And as I said, this is super. And to win my first group one and have Jimmy ride it, it's like a dream come true. When you were going over the line, what were the thoughts going through your head? Holy crap, I've got to get back into Des yet. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, like, no, look, um, this is pretty special for me as well. Um, I, look, winning my first straight break, I thought was absolute, there's, there's nothing that would match that, but uh, I was able to win a, a, a derby for Pete, and I've had a lot to do with Pete, and sure enough, that's the Desley connection as well. And now to win a group one for Desley, I, I, I got to say sorry, Pete, but you know this nearly takes the best of it. And he's just such a brave horse. I was talking to Desley before the race on the set, and she said to me, "I told Jim, all I want you to do is go out, don't go too slow." And yeah. you you rode to absolute perfection. Yeah, look, um, look, we, we early on we were we were trying to get him to just be that. As as we've always said that to win group ones, you've got to be adaptive. Um, and previously he was he was breaking their hearts by running along, but it's it's pretty hard to win those Group Ones doing that all the time. And um, look, we've we've been able to get the horse to calm down. Um, and sure enough, you can see it in in mid race. He 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 breathes right, changes his legs right. Um, but one thing she did say to me: go back to basics and, and, and make sure from the three that it's a catch me if you can. And sure enough, uh, J Mac was sat, sitting right on my hammer. I'm thinking, oh my god, I can't even get away from this guy. So anyway, look, it was uh, it was a good result. And yourself, Desley, a, a career-defining moment for you with a horse that you purchased yourself for not a great deal of money. You've now won your first Group One. Can you put that into words? Oh look, as they say, you probably can't put a Group One into words, really. But like, look, I'm so grateful to Mike and Terry Ann for giving me this horse to train and they've trusted me with him. Like I took him to Rocky and we thought we'd go up there and we were very confident we got beaten and come back here and like as I said to Mike and Terry Ann today and I said to Jimmy this horse is perfect. He's spot on. I said this this race today and the grand finals still two weeks away but there's no such thing as grand finals really. Today's a grand final we've got another one to win in two weeks. How special would a strap break be for both of you? Huge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah no look Probably, this is probably just put the icing on the cake. The winner of Stradbroke would be enormous. Well done, guys. Thank Enjoy so the much. win. Enjoy Thank the you. win. Thank you. Thank you. Arguably better suited in a Stradbroke as well because uh, it's a handicap. He was wait for age there and, uh, gee, that was fantastic. Isn't it? What a popular win uh, this has been for everyone in Queensland. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, she's a big hit up there, isn't she? They just love her, Desley, and uh, love her horse, especially at Eagle Farm. And uh, Jimmy Burney had that confidence in Apache Chase. And I love a horse that goes forward, yeah. makes their own luck, and he's going to be hard to beat. All the big highlights. And, Bruce, we didn't predict this. Saki. No, we didn't. We thought he'd steam away at this stage. A winner who'd come through a summer program and won three in a row. And you could tell Lizzie that he'd come back in cracking form, hadn't you? Because his two runs leading in were first class. They certainly were, and he'd had a great 
early on in his career and he'd even been even better his second preparation and they I love the Snowdens when they have a plan with a horse and they'd set this out and as I spoke to uh, Paul before the race he was very very confident with how he was going to go so it was no surprise to him probably a surprise to all of us to see Zaki getting beaten but he goes for a break now and he's prepared for a cox plate and the Queenslanders were cheering uh, Bruce in the Kingsford Smith Cup this was some ride for Jimmy Byrne and the character that is Desley Forster Absolutely, Rich. It was just a great race too. I mean, just a great battle up the straight. So it was a Queensland story left, right and centre. Apache Chase gets his first group one. Desley Forster gets her first group one. Jimmy Byrne wins for the seventh time. The horse is by Better Than Ready. He stands out at Lindhurst Stud, which is at Warwick, about 130k southwest of Brisbane. Uh, it's the first time Better Than Ready's had a group one winner. So Lizzie, this is as Queensland as it gets as Queensland as it gets and of course he's out of Silken Whisper who is also the sire of Churchill Downs who ran second in a Magic Millions for David Hayes so there's a bit of a connection there as well uh, with him racing up in Queensland he ran uh, third in a slipper to Churchill Downs so he's been a terrific horse for Desley and she dares to dream for a Stradbroke and when I asked them that question they just both rolled their eyes and said that they couldn't believe that they had won this race today and maybe in the future it could be a Stradbroke. And Richo and Katie and Lizzie can't be re-handicapped because of that win today. So we'll meet Pallelli 1kg better if they go against one another in the Stradbroke. And we've been told that Tommy Berry's been booked for Rothfire, who's got 54 and a half. So, Katie, you might have to <laughs> tighten the belt. <laughs> I'm tipping you won't be having too many dinners. I'm tipping you. You won't be listening to some of Katie's comments. Uh, thrilling derby, though, Bruce. It was. And look, this horse was so well prepared by Roger Jones in particular, I guess. We know him best. A great ride by Leith Innes. And Lizzie, he showed so much guts up the straight because the Waller three-year-old really had a crack at him, didn't he? He really did and Leith was saying he spent a lot of time away from his family and he's made some sacrifices to be over here for a long period of time and to get that victory when a well-timed plan has been uh, pulled off is very satisfying. We tried to blow the balloon back up about uh, Andermatt but uh, that bubble's burst again. <laughs> Look, I he ran OK. It was a funny... He got a long way back and then Jason Collett made a big decision in the straight that he would try and weave his way through. He still finished pretty well, Lizzie, but Lizzie, I've got the feeling we might have just overrated him slightly. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I also think you've got to take into consideration that these tracks are just... They're just quagmires at the moment. They've had mm. so much rain. They've had lots of racing. They're just not able... You're not getting the right result from the horses. So I know he's handled heavy tracks before, but these are super heavy right, tracks. So. Just... Oh, I look back on the day that was. A quick break. We'll come back and look forward to next week, and it's a beauty.